Genetic History of an Archaic Hominid Group from Denisova Cave in Siberia We first learned of a new species of hominid, the Denisovans, in 2010 with the publication of this paper. In 2008, a team of archaeologists working in a cave in Russia had discovered a pinky bone. The cave was known as Denisova, named after a Russian Orthodox zealot who lived there in the 1800s. It is unclear who first spotted the tiny bone in a pile of rocks. Accounts vary. There were some suggestions that a college intern from Novorbetsk University was the first to find the bone. Anatoly Derevyanko was the leader of the dig. As the story goes, he just thought it looked like an interesting fossil. He stuck it in his jacket pocket. They filed it with other fossil bones and artifacts. They largely forgot about it. Six months later, Derevianko sliced the specimen in half. He sent the bottom segment of the tiny bone to the experts at the Max Planck Institute in Germany for DNA analysis. Johannes Krauss, working alone late at night at the lab, randomly pulled the bone out of a pile of fragments. He ran the DNA sequencing and got a very surprising result. The bone was not Homo sapien, nor was it Neanderthal. From the press release, in 2010, while working at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig, Johannes Krauss discovered the first genetic evidence of the Denisovans, an extinct hominid found in the Altai Mountains in Siberia. Spatial Temporal Distribution of Denisovans Based on the fossil evidence, paleoanthropologists have long believed that Denisovans survived as a species from 400,000 years ago to about 50,000 years ago. New York Times 2015 Scientists estimate that Neanderthals and Denisovans diverged on the human family tree 400,000 years ago. For reference, the putative hypothesis, Antecessor or Heidelbergensis 1.2 million years ago to 700,000 years ago, leading to Homo sapiens and Neanderthals 500,000 years ago. Finally, Denisovans branching off from Neanderthals in the East 400,000 years ago. Denisovans are believed to have occupied a north-south axis from Siberia to modern-day Indonesia. The original paper by Pabo et al. mentions that Denisovans disappear from the fossil record about 30,000 years ago. But most researchers have come to accept 40,000 years ago to 50,000 years ago as a likely extinction date range for Denisovans. BBC Face of a Long Lost Human Relative 2015 Denisovan remains were discovered in 2008 and human evolution experts have become fascinated with the group that went extinct around 50,000 years ago. Taiwan fossil finds suggest possible later date. In 2015, a jawbone was dredged up by a trawler off the coast of Taiwan, near the island of Penggu. Dating of the fossil has proved to be tricky, but researchers suggest it could be as young as 10,000 years ago. Penggu 1 revealed an unexpectedly late survival, likely 190,000 years ago to 10,000 years ago, of robust primitive morphology. Continuing, which is unknown except for the mid-middle Pleistocene Homo from Hexian, eastern China. Science.org 2015 Ancient jawbone surfaces off of Taiwan coast. 
It might even be a member of the mysterious Denisovan people. Laura Clark, Smithsonian. The lower right mandible, complete with a short row of thick teeth, is thought to be from a hominid that lived between 10,000 and 190,000 years ago. Austronesians. Murray Cox is a professor of computational biology at Massey University, New Zealand, returning from positions in Europe and the U.S., including Oxford and Cambridge. Cox has conducted extensive genetic analysis of oceanic populations. He released a study in 2019. Abstract. The center of gravity of Denisovan admixture today lies 8,000 kilometers south of Denisova Cave in the Papuan populations of tropical eastern Indonesia and New Guinea. Continuing, Papuans and Philippine Negritos, together with Siberian and South and East Asians, are among the few living groups with substantial traces of archaic introgression from Denisovans. Substantial traces of archaic introgression from Denisovans. Southern Denisovans, separate subspecies? The researchers identified at least three subspecies of Denisovans in Southeast Asia and Melanesia. D1, D2, and D3. Lead author Cox even suggests separating Southern Denisovans from all Thai Denisovans. Professor Cox, D2 Denisovans over Oceania are about as different from the individual found in the Denisova cave as it is from Neanderthals and probably warrants its own name. Cosmos 2019, the all Thai group dubbed D0 and two others D1 and D2 the latter two split off from Altai Denisovans around 283,000 years ago and from each other even further back at 363,000 years ago. Denisovans, last surviving non-homo sapien hominid? Janet Kelso with Max Planck Institute is one of the world's most renowned experts on Denisovan DNA. Her PhD is in evolutionary anthropology from the University of Cape Town, South Africa. She was one of the original co-authors of the paper in 2010 with Pabo and Krauss. Dr. Kelso was recently interviewed by The Guardian, March 2024, quote, There is good evidence that some modern humans interbred with genetically distinct Denisovans on multiple occasions. Continuing, quote, the two groups coexisted for an extended time, with some studies suggesting a last contact as recently as 25,000 years ago, end quote. Note, Dr. Kelso specifically mentioned genetically distinct Denisovans, which would affirm Professor Cox's subspecies model of D0 to D3. Philippines Eta Magbukan. Many Filipinos with the Eta tribe have especially archaic facial morphology. In 2020, a team of researchers conducted genetics tests of the Eta. They found up to 7.8% Denisovan DNA admixture in some of the tribal members. Study. We show that the Eta Magbukan possess the highest level of Denisovan ancestry in the world, 30 to 40 percent greater than that of Australians and Papuans, consistent with an independent admixture event into Negritos from Denisovans. The dates they give for Denisovan admixture with Eta is 53,000 years ago, but with Papuans, they give a date of 25,000 years ago. In the final section of the paper, the researchers reference Pangu 1 as the possible 
Denisovan lineage intergressing independently into Negritos and Papuans. Their research garnered major international media attention, but the research project was limited to only one tribe. Of that tribe, only a handful of tribal members were tested. There are as many as four to five other more isolated Eta tribes. This would include the mysterious, rarely seen Dumagat people in coastal eastern Luzon. Did the Denisovans really go extinct? Deanne Lewis, science writer Cosmos, Australia. According to the new study in Cell, one of those populations could have survived and interbred with the ancestors of modern day Papuans as recently as 15,000 to 30,000 years ago. Smithsonian, the researcher's analysis points toward Denisovan and modern human interbreeding occurring as recently as 15,000 years ago. Continuing, Denisovans till 15,000 years ago, this would make the Denisovans, rather than the Neanderthals, the last hominid cousin to disappear from the planet. Papuans, Eta, other Oceanian tribes, late surviving Denisovan subspecies? Thank you for watching. A personal note, I spent nine months in and out of the Philippines in the 1980s in the U.S. Navy on board the USS Kitty Hawk CV-63.